Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome to another Simpletons SMP morning grind. I hope everyone is doing well this morning. We're here in the beginnings of the reflection pool. If you remember, we have been working on learning little tiles and using some chisel and bits to start off our Moorish Palace build. So last time we were here, I did this fountain and I have put a spout in there and then I made a little tiles recipe I think they are and I've copied it over there so we now have the other um, fountain on this side and then I've also laid out a bunch of sandstone this is the um, braid version that looks nice for around the pool and uh, we're gonna start here with the morning grind. I wanna get the cobblestone picked up here in this area. We're gonna put strips of grass with the lavender bushes, I think. I was going to use, uh, see, and I still haven't 100% decided. I've got some of the flowering oak leaves, so they have the little flowers on them. And those would be nice in here too. So maybe we'll mix and match. Um, I don't know, but the first thing we need to do is get rid of the cobblestone, lay down some grass. Oh, I didn't grab the grass, I just have dirt. Uh, lay down grass so it spreads, and then decide if we're going to do bushes or lavender or a mixture of both um, in that area. So let's grab what grass I have. I think I have a couple. I only need two. Whoops, I only grabbed one. And I have lots of lavender and I've, I have enough flowering oak leaves. So when we get to that point, we can just I can decide what we're gonna put there. Yeah. So we'll get this cleared out. I've done a little bit of investigation on getting flight. I've mentioned before that I want to get the dragon armor from Tiny Progressions. And that is um, going to require us to kill the dragon like round four or five times probably to get enough scales to make the armor and since the dragon has been killed before in fact almost Sathar has the dragon armor so we that's how I found out how many times he killed the dragon in order to get the armor now let's pick this up even though we won't need it down here um, I'm going to need to make the crystals gonna need to make these. We're gonna need to make at least 16 because you need four to summon the Ender Dragon again. So we're gonna need to get Ag Eyes of Ender and Ghast here. So I've been investigating the, the direct the methods to get those easy enough. Um, we may want to get into unique crops for Ghast tiers because I have a feeling getting Ghast tiers will be actually the hardest part. <laughs> um, and you can get Ghast tears by getting the essence of savagery from unique crops. I don't know what crop gives you essence of savagery, so we're gonna have to get in because you click on it, nothing happens. Um, we'll have to look at the book and find out what gets gives us the essence of savagery, but that will get us some ghast tears. I'm pretty sure it's a distance in to unique crops, so it'll be fun learning um, unique crops. I did a little bit of it if you followed along with my nature craft series. I didn't get very far in it, so there's a lot more. I don't know why I'm not using the tools I have made for this job. Mm -hmm. Need to go get more dirt. Let's place this grass. So yeah, we're gonna do that. Uh, probably unique crops for that. And while I was clearing out the grass in this area, 
I was able to get an ender lily seed. So I have that growing on the grass because I've not been to the end over here. So it's a really slow process right there. Um, I don't know if extra drops is turned on, so if I break it, I might get another seed. But we are going to need ender, ender pearls. I do have some ender nuggets from inventory pets. Um, yeah. I might even have, I have one ender pearl. So, you know, <laughs> those are the things we're working on in, in process. Uh, let's get some of this stuff put away. And I'm here for more dirt. That should be good. I don't need this. And we can put the silty ones away. I do have the stonework factory running. Last time we were here, I think this was, I was still needing to make it. So I have it running up here where I'm going to be putting all the machines that I need. Um, this area here will probably be where the um, Extra Utilities Quantum Quarry is going to go. That's where I think it'll go at this point in time. So I have it making cobble, gravel, sand, and then eventually glass when the sand barrel down there is filled up. The uh, sand barrel has a ways to go, so... <laughs> yeah... head back over here get the rest of the dirt placed um let's keep going all right so this is good and when the grass spreads we'll be able to start placing whatever plants we want in this area do the same on this side Uh, Hi, Big Mikey. Nice to see you. I don't think unless it's for pipes or something All right. now let's get out of here though all right I thought I'd be too far away, but I thought I'd give it a shot, right? There and there. Now let's see if we can do this distance. Yep. Okay. And there we go. We'll light it up. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do about lighting. I'm, I enjoy the shadows and shadow play that are happening when you don't have something fully lit up. And with uh, mega torches, we don't have to worry about mobs. So it might be that I like use the shadow play to my advantage. Right now we're doing lights so that the grass will spread at nighttime. So yeah, okay. We can do a couple of things. I'm actually interested in getting into unique crops. Um, sounds interesting and I mean we need to put walls up here. I at least know that the walls on the sides here and here 
but I'm going to put arches leading up into the rest of the palace bit over there. And there's actually going to be arches on this side to mirror that one into a hauled corridor over here. So... Um... I don't have a whole lot of limestone. If I decided whether or not I'm going to use cobble and then just skin it in limestone, that sounds like a lot more work than just putting limestone down. <laughs> I know it was easier when I did my pink mansion. My pink lady was smaller, so it was easier to quote unquote paint the walls. But um, I think for this palace, it might be smarter just to mine a lot of limestone. Does this have a... oh I don't remember what... how do I open the GUI? Let's find it. Building gadgets... G. Um... grid surface vertical column horizontal column vertical wall. Do we get to configure how tall this vertical wall is. Range, ooh, yes. Um, how tall do I want the walls? Nine? Ooh. Horizontal wall. That's a floor. <laughs> okay. Um, where's the, a level surface here? That looks... Hmm, that looks a bit too tall. Because we're going to have doorways that are going to be three high. Well... Actually might work because some of the areas of the palace are two stories. Can I undo? Undo. Yay. All right. Good to know. Yep, yep, yep. All right, let's clear the inventory a little bit and let's get our book. Learn about um, unique crops and see if... Oh, see all that will be full. Let's smelt it then. Definitely can't wait until I can get um, refined storage set up. So I have some place to put everything, put all of it away. All right, so we have our book somewhere. There we go. And if we just shift left click in the air, there we go. Unique crops. Alright, the guide to unique crops. Now I've read all this intro stuff before. Um, let's see if we can find the essence that we're looking for. Categories. Hmm. I wonder if it's like with one of these here, like Devil's Snare or something? No. Interesting. I don't know. Randomly drops vanilla crops when harvested. Well, that's kind of cool. I'm gonna need to craft these. Um, I need nine of them in a three by three square because some of these crafting, some of the seed crafting and the plant crafting for unique crops requires that you use their crafting method, which is with plants. 
Um, the center one grown last. Okay. So we need to find out how making Artisia. Artisia seeds are normie seeds and a crafting table and we need nine of them. Let's see how many normie seeds we have. We have 24. That's not gonna get us nine. We need more normie seeds. So let's go do some mowing over here where there's grass. See if we can get some normie seeds. This is where a lightning storm happened and we lost a bunch of trees over here. I could definitely replant, replant them, but considering doing some building over here, um, so I'm not going to replant till I decide whether I'm going to build over here. What is that? Oh, a red orchid. Sweet, there's a normie seed. There's a normie seed. Woohoo! Okay, and then let's put them in our hot bar so we know. Hi, Spopa! Hi, Spopa's niece! 24, we can make 6, we need 36 of these, I need you, give me, okay, wait, that's a normal seed, isn't it, hmm, I suppose our first step should be to plant some normie seeds so that we can get more normie seeds in return. I believe they'll work, whoa, work like that. So I'm only gonna do this for a little bit longer, then we'll just have to plant some. get anything from these uh, flax if you break them like that. Yeah, I didn't get any. I think you have to use a shears on them. Maybe. more. Give me one more normie seed, please. And then I'll stop this. One more. See, now that I've said I want one more, I'm not gonna get it very soon. <laughs> Oh, come on, game. Give me, give me. There we go. All right. So, 
I put all my dirt away. We're just gonna put a row in here. In our little strip farm. Actually, we could pull up the wheat. No, because I'm using that to breed the cows. This wheat is getting all consumed, so I don't have a supply of that. Alright. I have a hoe? I have a hoe. Hopefully have more. All right, come up here. Get the normie seeds we have. Turn them into the artesia seeds. That's how many we're gonna need. We can make that many. All right, so where do we want these? And do they need, they probably need water. Um, let's put them over here between these two. We'll put them right here. And I'm going to tuck the water right there. And we'll do I do not know if this guy will be compatible, but we'll give it a go. And we need to grow these guys around the middle first, let them grow up, and then we'll plant the middle one. And we got ourselves another normie seed. Oh, uh, so there's that. Do I have toadstools in here too? I do. And then trees, eggs. All right, so while that's growing, let's continue reading about some unique crops here. Um, uh, it doesn't say where these come from. It's so frustrating. Let me do a quick Google search and see if Essence of Savage Three Unique Crops. Um, dropped from Feroxia crops. Used to craft 16 different things as allowed by dyes. Fer... Feroxia. Okay. So, what are ferox... wrong? <laughs> Feroxia. Feroxia. Spores. Of course they're going to require seed crafting, but there also looks like they're going to need other crops running. So we have clay. We need Scientia seeds and Weeping Bell stalks. Oof. Weeping Bell socks need Ender Lily seeds and Melon seeds and, a, yeah, of course, Gas Tears. We're going to need Gas Tears in order to make Gas Tears. <laughs> Thankfully, you know, I it'll be a net gain, so we'll still have to go gas tier collecting, but once we can make 
Thyroxia will be able to get the Savagery Essence and make more gas tears. Alright, so we need to be able to make Ender Lily Seeds from Unique Crops. And Ender Lily Seeds need Dirigible Plum Seeds, Ender Pearls, and an Eye of Ender. So, yay! We're, we have some steps ahead of us, as I knew we would. Dirigible Plum Seeds. Pumpkin and Collis. Collis needs normies. Okay, so we're finding the beginning of the trail. And Cinderbella shoots and Cinderbella shoots are seeds and normies. Okay, so here's our steps. This is the beginning. We need to do uh, Cinderbella shoots. Okay. And then we need to make Collis seeds. And then we need to do dirigible plums to make ender lily seeds. Okay to make weeping bell stalk to get to Baroxia spores. Okay, so there's our direction for, for, for unique crops. All right, let's go to the book because the book does have some interesting information even if uh, the organization of this isn't so fantastic. So we need to do Cinderbella shoots. That's the next thing we need to do. And I'm not even seeing them listed here. There they are, Cinderbella. They look like that. Based on the old folktale, these crops are quite magical. They must be planted between midnight and dawn while surrounded on all four sides by pumpkins. Sounds a lot like Cinderella. If it is not planted in this fashion or harvested before midnight, it withers away. Okay, so it needs to be planted after midnight and before dawn, but then it needs to be harvested before the following midnight. We need pumpkins. Do I have pumpkin seeds? I do. All right, so let's get some pumpkins planted. here. There we go. We'll let those grow. We'll let these grow. Great. So in order to do the Cinderbella, what's the recipe for these? We need the normie seeds. We have sugar. We need regular seeds. We have. Okay, so we're getting started. Um, we could try to get a few more worms because I don't have more worms and see if that might help speed things along so we'll do what we've done before just run around here see if we can't bring some to the surface there's a couple yay Could be a unique mechanic if you got more worms by doing this when it's raining like it is now I don't know if that's an actual thing, but it would be an interesting mechanic because that's kind of the way, kind of the way that works. Um, 
We're gonna put them down out here. Can I place you? No, I need to break you first. Alright. There. And then... Here. isn't it? Okay. Good to know. So this one we'll put here. Yay! Uh... I don't, this is not going to be perfect coverage, I just kind of am haphazardly placing them. I don't really need any on this side. It would maybe be helpful to have maybe one or two. Like right here would be good to have one. So that might help speed these along. I don't know if they work on growth ticks. Maybe they do. Look at that. Who knows? Now these pumpkins, they're not really going to be useful. The worms are not going to be useful once the stalks are grown. So I'm going to pass on that. Just, yeah, not useful, so no reason. Okay. So once we've got Cinderella shoots, the next one we need are the collis seeds. And those require more normie, which we've got growing. So okay, so that's our next step. And of course, the seed crafting we've got going on over here. So yeah, let's get a torch over here to help us see. Right, let's take a look at this again for the next one, the Collis. Golden rods. Those are pretty. These crops like being planted in high places, usually on mountains. Also, the higher up they're planted, the faster they can grow when receiving growth ticks. So having a worm on these will be helpful. We will also need to go up pretty high. So we'll need to find a mountain, a mountain top to plant these at. Where are we at as far as, we're at 69, yeah. So we're not very high right now. Um, there is a mountain over there that we could go to, uh, not very far from here. You'll be able to see it pop up in the distance here shortly. On the other side of the uh, lavender fields. We've been there before. So we could put our golden rods up here. Or we can just build a platform way up in the sky. But, um, well, that's not really a mountain, but it is higher up. That way we wouldn't have to travel. We might just build them up high. Um, where we are. We could put a little uh, ouch cropping. They won't be too high, of course, but um, if we do a little outcropping on top of one of our buildings here. That would be a nice place for the golden rod. Um. Hi, Unturned. Nice to see you. Let's see. Pop in here. Where I might want to do a little place poked out. Alright, so this is the highest point that I have. And if we're going to do the quantum quarry here... Um, I could probably poke out this way really easily. Am I winning? <laughs> I 
Did Robin fix the filter recipe? Which filter? I don't think Robin has um, done any updates to the pack yet. You could ask him to do so. The extra utilities one couldn't be created. This one? Or this one? Or that one? Oh, the one that's not visible. <laughs> then clearly he hasn't done that one. <laughs> yeah, no, he hasn't done updates. You can poke him because it's been a week. And he uh, actually put in there he'd like to keep this updated weekly. So yeah, I'd poke him and remind him. Well, then I'll just use a void and void it. If I get a bunch of stone, that's not a big deal. Thank you for the follow, Unturned. I appreciate it. Yeah? Oh, uh, we'll see. That's a lot of... That's a lot of RF cost if I'm getting that much stone. Yep. Just ask... Remind him again. Poke him again. Say, hey, you said you were going to do this. Don't have him do it right now, though. I stream for another half an hour. Give, give me time! Give me time to play! And then, yeah. I'm only here for another half hour. And then I've got work to do. Alright. <laughs> I put the dirt away and I need dirt. Why did I do that? Because I just like going up and down ladders, that's why. Uh, you didn't really distract me. I enjoy conversation. Alright. So, what I'm gonna do here... That. And let's see what we've got going on here. I don't think I want to make it any bigger. Maybe? Maybe. Let's do that. And then we'll rim... Do a little, a little plot. Um, one, two, three, four, because this is an even number. One, two, three, four. A tour of the house. Well, I haven't been playing this pack for very long, so there isn't a whole lot to tour, but sure. <laughs> Let me finish laying out... I forgot I had a crafting table on me, guys. Let me lay out the uh, base of what will be a little farm up here, up sort of high. Y level of 79. So this will be where we're going to eventually grow those... Um, the flowers that we need to be growing up here and we'll get you all right let's figure this out let's use blocks yeah I'll show you the house over there I'm guessing you're wanting to see the house if we put one there, it takes care of those blocks. So in order to get these blocks, I need to put one here and we'll take care of those. Here and here. That will take care of all of them. So we need four. And they shouldn't, they shouldn't be too close. There we go. Yep. So that'll give us hydrated soil. 
All right. And we'll figure out how to make it look nice from the underside and everything in a moment. All right. The house is incomplete, by the way, but there's our little house. And it's, I think Green made one similar to it, so it's something like his. So here's the inside. We have a bed. Randomness. I'm going to deck this out eventually with little tiles and chisel bits and whatnot, so it actually looks like a house. Upstairs? There's nothing, but this will be the upstairs. This will be where eventually the bedroom and closet and whatnot are up here. And down here will be a living room and a kitchen. Um, I don't think I'll make a bathroom. I never understood the really big need for a bathroom in a, kit in a Minecraft house. You know, but we need to like do decorative window coverings and pots and things like that. The big Minecraft build that we're working on is over here unturned and it's got I just started it last stream so it's not even anything yet so yeah decoration purposes I get it bathrooms are just decorative but um, yeah so this is the start of our Moorish palace role-playing reasons I don't role-play Minecraft unfortunately <laughs> uh. Yeah. All right, so definitely going to need to, you know, pretty this up. Probably build stilts to support it. Um, line it in fence, probably. It'll be a decent outcropping type of deal for when we need those plants. So that would take care of the collis seeds when we can get to those. Um, the one after that is the dirigible plum seeds. And that recipe is pumpkin seeds and the collis that we'd be growing. So let's learn about dirigible plums. So we know the collis we need to grow up high, which the higher they are, the faster they'll grow pretty much is what it says. Um, we'll hopefully be able to plant them there. Hopefully they don't need to know that they're in that kind of a area. Then the next one is the dirigible plums, which look like this. These dirigible plums seem to be filled with helium. That would explain why some fully grown plums keep flying away. Best pick up the plums when they drop as soon as possible. Uh, so we're probably going to want to create a... Um, the the hoppers that pick things up like a vacuum hopper type of deal so yeah you have a bat cave and almost that cool so we'll have to learn about those and eventually um how are our crafting seeds they're for the most part they're full We've got mostly full-grown ones. That one's got a bit of growth to do. Sometimes, I just can't clear out the area. I might want to frame this in some kind of block. I doubt I'm going to want to tear these down anytime soon, which is why I'm doing that. We're going to need them for other seed crafting. Let's check our normie seeds, see if there's any we can harvest. There's a couple. Woo, that was it. And it gave us randomness plus some more seeds. So let's take care of the randomness again of our inventory filling up. The food items, we'll put the room's worms in here. And we can craft two more of these. So we need these first.
So there's the border. Once these are all fully grown, I will place the one in the middle. The craft mechanic for... A... What mod? What mod is strange? Dark. Grow faster. You just place yours down and wait until they all grew. Well, according to the book, the middle one has to be grown last. The center one being grown last. So I don't know if it knows. <laughs> yeah. What other, what's the next special things? This we need to make a vacuum hopper to pick up the drops or they'll float away. And then the next step is ender lilies. Um, just love to have nearby empty farmland to teleport to. Wow, sometimes they'll even swap places with other kinds of crops. Not crops of the same type as them though. Interesting. <laughs> so we'll need to make a decent little bit of a little bit of farmland for them to teleport around the farm on. Um once we get those, the weeping bells. The weeping bells look like that. And so they're quite shy, but quite in need of your attention. Weeping bells will only grow when you're looking directly at them. Well, once fully grown, do not take your eyes off of them, lest you face their wrath from your attentions being divided elsewhere. Great. Well, that one's going to be fun to do. Just sit there and stare at a plant for it to grow. All in order to get Baroxia. And Baroxia, much like breaking in wild horses, these savage plants all have different ways of being grown. Once planted or harvested manually, this book will keep a record of the current demands for each stage of crop growth on the next page. Oh. These crops seem to be locked to the players who planted them, so one may have to be in game in order for them to grow. Okay. Additionally, the steps will be different once a fully grown crop is harvested. <laughs> oh, that just sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> I'm so glad I won't need, because uh, these are not automatable in that method. Um, it's funny. And all I'm going to do, I just need some gas tears for the the crystals that we're going to make. The end crystals, and I don't want to farm the end, or the nether, I'm a Sathara, that's why we're doing a different method. And I've never done mini crops before, so this is part of learning an interesting mod I've not really gone very far in. So, yeah, the stages are nuts. I imagine they probably are. <laughs> <laughs> this will be interesting. <laughs> yeah, but I've heard there's some other really fun ma fun ones in here, like the Coblonia, I believe is one of them. This one is a cobble gen. Um, once fully grown, you have water on one side and lava on the other, and it'll give you cobble. Yeah, very cool. So we'll look at some of these other ones once we're able to actually do other things here. Did you ever use the Ice and Fire Dragons mod? I have not. We got six, six normie seeds. It's still rather glitchy. Is it still like in beta then? Uh, 
Oh. Dragons are too big. All right, we're gonna wait for these to grow a little bit further. These haven't grown either. Before I plant that middle one, just following the directions. Um, for that watering can, I haven't made a watering can. I could do that from tiny progressions. I'm assuming. Oh, there's extra utilities. From extra utilities. That's kind of cool. He catches fish near water. So he almost feeds himself, because his favorite food is cooked fish, and he catches fish near water. <laughs> almost feeds himself. Alright, watering can. Stone in a bowl. You have nearly all the pets. Awesome. Alright. I have... I think I have a squid pet. I've just not used him. Gives you water breathing and night vision. Hmm. Go, go, go. I don't spend a whole lot of time underwater to need that one. I like the bed pet. <laughs> Instead of having a sleeping bag, let's use the bed. Am I back? I think I am. Anyway. Yeah, you uh, you weren't the only one. Twitch decided it wasn't going to work for a moment. All right, so we have our artisia seeds now. Oh, the pets to find underwater. Yeah, makes sense now. All right, so our first ones we're gonna make were the Cinder Bella, and in order for that we need Normie seeds and regular seeds and sugar. What do we have for those things? We need one more normie seed. Regular seeds. We should go grab some of the sugar cane. I have a flying saddle pet, but I totally want the dragon armor instead. It'd be easier for I accidentally tend to jump off my pet too frequently, so I need to be able to not have that happen. <laughs> Alright, so we can make a few of the Cinderbella seeds. We can't plant them yet because we need pumpkins. Okay. Um, I'm probably gonna have to end it pretty soon because if uh, either my internet or Twitch is acting stupid, we're gonna have problems for a lot longer than I want to deal with them. <laughs> so we're gonna craft these Cinderbella seeds um, and then uh, 
call it a day, I think. Get my other work going. Um, how many normie seeds? Okay, so it's four and four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. And there's our Cinderbella seed. And we'll just do it again. Okay. Um, what are, these we need to be surrounded by pumpkins. Well, I'm going to probably do the two, I think. Um, it might be good to do our unique crops up there, but then again, it might be nice to do them kind of in the little bit of foresty area back here too, because I don't know where I'm going to do all of this stuff in the end. This is just kind of experimenting. But yeah, since I've had a lot of uh, little issues here, we're going to go ahead and end the stream a couple minutes early. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching the morning grind for the Simpletons SMP. If you want to join me on this server, all you need to do is be a Twitch subscriber of me or a patron of any of the other Simpletons at the $5 and up level. So that's the tier one subscription for Twitch. And then send me your information and I will get you whitelisted for the server. So if you're interested, look that up. Otherwise, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time. Take care, folks. Bye.